Hello, what's up? My name is Neverwish for What Labs TV, and we're back with the fourth place winner on the What Labs replay contest. And here we have Imlesh. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If I'm not, sorry. Imlesh, Imlek, yeah. Well, here he is on. Uh, God damn, I never remember the name of this map. Pearl River. Yes, Spur River with he, his trusty T29. Beast of a tank. It is a tier 8 match. So he's going to be going up um, against some bigger tanks. And I just have one thing to say about this guy. He knows how to use a T29. Let's check it out. Let's go. Alright, so here we are. We have a few uh, tier 8 tanks on each side, a lot of tier 7s and a couple of tier 6 just tossed in there somewhere. First thing he will, he's gonna do is go to the bridge, the place where usually all the fighting happens. And not a bad place at all to take a T29 when you are on this side. And you're gonna see why real real soon. There's the first enemy spotted by the EMX 12T who's scouting in front. A Yak Panther and an IS. For all you uh, American heavy tank drivers out there, if you want to make the best of your gun depression, this is one of the ba best spots to be. Look at this. Look how many enemy tanks are there. Wow. Especially when you don't have artillery. Go straight for the uh, Radio Man turret on the KV-5. The R2-D2. Oh, he takes a shot there. Quickly turns around, tries to see where, where he got shot at. And here comes this Ferdinand. Oh boy. This Ferdinand is gonna piss him off during the game. As you can see, looking at the minimap, which I have no idea why it's so small again, most, if not, well, pretty much the entire enemy force is here. With just a few uh, lost guys around the south and the middle. Let me uh, go to the free camera view and let's see what the enemy sees. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so many shots fired. Look at this. Wow. They're all bundled up in that place together. That's uh, that's a kill zone right there. Uh, if you guys know the concept of, uh, which you probably do, of um, choke points and bottlenecks, this is exactly where the enemy team has gotten themselves into. If you watch, look, look at that. They just can't put their force out there. All his team, they all have cover. They, uh, they're all managing to fire. But look at that. That IS-3, he can't do anything. The Tiger can't do anything. The IS is completely exposed. T-29, trying to do something, but... <laughs> yeah, both of those guys here are not having a good time with Imlash there. See how they set up their... They set up themselves in a spot where they just are unable to fight back. So he, got his, he has his second kill on the T29, and he is pissed off at the Ferdinand. The Ferdinand is really, really not leaving him with much room to work. Look at that. Oh, one lucky shot aims right below the Madland and goes up. He is pissed off at the Ferdinand. The Ferdinand wants to fire at those guys there. But in order to do so, the Ferdinand decides that cutting off Imlash is the best option. There he goes again. Look at him. You will not be missed, Ferdinand. You will not be missed. So that the Ferdinand is dead, we can actually... Uh, <laughs> 
go back to killing tanks uninterrupted. Look at that. His hold down position just leaves him at a tremendous advantage against the enemy tank. They just can't go through. And he just keeps getting shot after shot on everyone's sides, lower plates everywhere. He's up to 4400. 4, oh, and the SU is turning his ass towards him. Well. What you gotta do? What you gonna do? 4,685 damage. Oh, right in the hole of the T-34. That's never gonna stop a shell this big. IS-3 fails, but... Oh! His unangled pike nose is now exposed. And he takes a shot. KV-5. Yeah. They're now getting a flank by the Tiger and the KV-5 turns towards completely ignores the surroundings and presents Imlesh with a very nice shot. Now, his team are all moving in. He's gotta go out there if he wants to rack up this damage. He's at 5600. Extremely nice knowledge of weak spots. Oh! That hurt. Fourth kill. Their force almost dead, IS-3 is almost dead. There are only those three of them left. Look at their situation. And IS-3 is dead. They set up themselves there. The force dead. And the last shot says the Egg Panther 2 on fire. And ends him. And someone tries to team kill the Indian Panzer. Wow, that was a very, very nice game. Extremely good use of the T-29 strengths, keeping his, his hole hidden. Just give them your turret. It's extremely, extremely hard to penetrate that turret of the T-29. Just keep getting shots on uh, everyone's weak spots. And holy crap, 7,311 on a tier 7 tank at a tier 8 match. Very, very well done. So, what was the final score? 2290 base experience. And here you can see the, the battle results themselves. Extremely nice job. Congratulations. And for that, you're gonna be winning as fourth place winner. Also, 2500 gold. Congratulations. And stay tuned tomorrow as we present the third place winner. And I'll see you guys then.